Hey there everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video you're going to have a deep clean with me of the house before I decorate for Christmas. This was filmed last week, I actually have decorated for Christmas by this point so this is a little flashback to before decorating when I wanted to have a good sweep across the house and a deep clean before I started getting out all the Christmas stuff. So I'm going to try and clear the surfaces and the floor as much as I can because I'm going to set my little U robot vacuum cleaner to work so that he can hoover up all the crumbs off the floor while I get on with something else so while the floors are being hoovered all on their own I'm going to spray down the dining table first of all just with a surface spray and a cloth While I'm here, I'm going to spray down Cooper's little booster seat as well. I haven't cleaned this for a while and it's got some dried on food on there and things. So I'm going to give this a good clean. Into the kitchen now, using the same surface spray, I'm going to wipe down all of my kitchen worktops and get any crumbs and bits on there that have built up this morning before I have a really deep clean of the kitchen sink, which I've been meaning to do for a while now. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Scrub Daddy cleaning paste to clean the sink today. It comes with a Scrub Daddy sponge inside of it, which I'm going to get wet and I'm going to work it into the paste, which is a solid, until it gets wet and then it loosens up and becomes all pasty. And it is so good for cleaning sinks, getting on any hard, tough food marks or anything like that that has built up over the sink for the past week or so. I'm going to use this sponge and the magic paste to scrub it all away. I'm also going to clean the part of the sink that you don't see, which is the plug hole and the pipes. I'm going to put some soda crystals down the plug hole with a little bit of white vinegar as well. And I'm going to wash it away with some boiling water. What I need is up in my cleaning cupboard now, my beloved cleaning cupboard, so I'm going to come and get it. I'm going to get my flash glass spray with a fresh cleaning cloth and I'm going to use this glass spray to clean all of my French doors downstairs. If you're pressed for time, this is a really fantastic, quick, speedy option to clean glass, the flash glass cleaner. This is in a lavender scent as well, which is really lovely. Obviously, I'm having to stop every two minutes. <laughs> to help something that Cooper needs doing, but that's fine. I'm just gonna work my way across all of the glass doors, getting off all of those smudgy fingerprint marks. It's hard to sleep at night. Into the living room now, and I'm gonna start by just having a little bit of a tidy up and a declutter before I do any cleaning. I I'm 
I'm going to use the glass cleaner to wipe down our humongous TV in the living room. I always get so scared to touch this thing for obvious reasons, but actually it worked so well and left the TV gleaming, got rid of any sort of finger marks that have built up over the last however long it's been since I cleaned it. And now I'm gonna move onto the sofa. I've removed all of the cushions and I'm gonna start by hoovering all of the crumbs and dust and other gross things that seem to just gather underneath the sofa cushions. And now I've done underneath, I'm going to vacuum the actual sofa cushions themselves before I put them back. I also want to have a good clean in the utility room today. I'm constantly cleaning the kitchen, but I don't always come in here. I feel like I neglect the surface in here and don't clean it as often as I should. So I'm going to wipe down the surface in here and all of the appliances that live here as well. I'm going to move all of my laundry bits and bobs out of the way and just make sure I've thoroughly cleaned all of the surfaces. Okay, we have come upstairs now. Cooper is working very hard, relaxing in bed while I do all this. <laughs> and I'm gonna start by just tidying and doing some light cleaning in the boys' bedroom. I feel like I haven't dusted in here for a while and it has built up, as you can see. I'm just doing some damp dusting with a damp duster sponge and water, no product at all. Really effective way to quickly sweep up any dust off flat surfaces like this. So I'm gonna repeat it on his bedside table as well. into my eldest son's room now and again I'm just gonna have a little bit of a tidy up and then I'm going to work my damp duster over all of the surfaces in here. It takes a bit longer in my eldest son's room because he has so many little knickknacks and displays that he cherishes so I have to be very careful when I move everything and put it all back in the right places and it takes a while. I'm going to hoover all of the carpets upstairs, that is all five of the bedrooms and all of the bathrooms and everything. I won't show you it all, I'm just going to show you hoovering both of the boys' bedrooms. But it did take me a while to go around and do everything, but it felt really good to get it all done before all of the Christmas madness starts and I get everything out of the attic later today and start decorating. So make sure that you subscribe to see all of my Christmas videos, decorating and cleaning and all of that that are coming up soon. And also here is a sneak peek to our brand new ensuite bathroom which I have not shared with you yet. It was so satisfying to get in here and wipe away all of that renovation dust that builds up. But I'm going to leave you with a little sneaky peek and I will see you very soon in my next video.